show it. Arthur. I'm always busy. Are you busy, Arthur? Somebody shout at me. Did you shout me? No? Alright. Let's move on. Think I'm Understatement. just a feet buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, yep. okay. lead the way and we'll find out. Hey there, girl. Come on then. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden quite a fellow very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts here we are we can hitch up outside I'll make the introductions Arthur was good how's your look up to you I'm coming. Come on. Yes, sir. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Damn wasted time. <laughs> That's cool. So where's this guy? How do you know it's not set up? Josiah, how have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here I do. has a present for you. Here. 
Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Adieu to you, too. Look, shall we? Good okay. What the hell was that? I'd like to see that pantomime. River road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think okay. I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Up to you. Way. What's his name? Just call him, call him Josiah. <laughs> We're not talk to you? Oh, there you go. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize good point. you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, okay. let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. It'll be fine. Here we are. This is the spot. Well, we shall win. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone Lock to open pick. it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is... Samson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally Sounds good do. to me. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please I'll try. leave gun in its holster for once. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. You or you'll scupper the whole thing. I hope you don't find my sin. Not at all. I'm the best. It's a free gun. Yep. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. 
I don't want to press the button. But I have to. I'm flattered, Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! You're gonna stop? There he goes. to move or would, could, could you it's, it's such a small show but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano uh, I, 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 I don't know Miss Damson you owe it to West Elizabeth Quietly or loud. I guess I'm just gonna go stealth. Let's get out of it. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the twenty-third of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Magnifico. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Good actor. Knows how to rob people. That's for damn sure. It's very different. Finesse, maybe. I like to go in loud and proud. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. Peace out, bro. See you soon, Arthur. Night seven dollars. Sweet. Bill Williams. Chill out. Yeah. This is a very slow horse. If they've got anything. Put 
Doctor, Doctor. Doctor's gone. Rooms, storage information, post office, stagecoach. Oh, newspaper. Got nothing for me. <laughs> You're a brave girl. Hey, Arthur. Hi, John. affection all them out there they're laughing at me you think this is the way to a man's affection moping and pestering all the damn day oh Good i can do morning, a lot Arthur. worse than that is that a threat another great way to a man's affection oh shut up gladly looks real heavy in blackwater dutch posters of you and jose everywhere trelawney said all the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and 
I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go rob right. a bank. Follow me. Yeah. Passing you. Good old Lenny with us as well. City. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Edith should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Ow. Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. <laughs> I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I 
got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, drive Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's point. right under their nose. I ain't sure that's <laughs> always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four really? of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that, but little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk, and before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. Hell yeah. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. I think it'll go, Peachy. Keep it down now. We're here. You. What in the Sam hell is your problem? Howdy. I feel something bad's gonna happen. Very bad. Yo. Good morning. Hello. It's a bit like milk. Right okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Easy. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. It's gonna get, get fun. Follow me, fellers. Rebuilding after we destroyed it all. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk hmm. and harlot? Go to drunk one. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. Maybe. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Have you seen him? I really Can't believe he's leaving. Right I'm not leaving. Still okay, I'm we're going. going. No, no hold on. Wait till Ooh, she's got him real dead. Don't act like you don't know me. I'll stuck up in here. And I'm so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. This is too bad. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Get a word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Okay. 
The door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? Open the goddamn vault! Open it! Too goddamn slow! Get it open. Don't make me hurt you. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly Stop fucking there. about. Shut up, a bitch. Hurry up. Come on. Okay. Seriously? Shut up, a bitch. Hurry up. All good. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, the, 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 the manager does that. I, God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. Uh, blow them up. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now, I'm gonna lay them all up. up and be still. I'll go check the front. Let's make some money. If I see that leg move again, I get a bullet in it. Get the fuck out of here. Below me. A long fuse. A very long fuse. There we go. Loop, 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 loop. I hear people out there. Okay, okay. looting. How are we you getting to on? get out of here? Going as fast as I can. I'm gonna get all this loot. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly nope. there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I'm Do ready it. to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? You got some balls, I'll give you that. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him. I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss. Sorry. Oh. oh. Shooting his hat off. Let's go, come on. Can you move? Rifle. Boom. Oh. 
man. Can you get on? Thank you. Keep swimming. Are over here. You're putting your gun away for. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> no, no, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. That was a lot of fun. Right to down the ranch. Here we are. Beat the shit out of the father and now he's dead. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. He had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Oh, 
Well, that wasn't as dramatic as the first time. something something to happen twenty grand jeez two and a half grand that's all I get even Arthur? Arthur. 